Welcome everybody and thanks for joining this presentation. My talk today will be about an intelligent power module platform for SIG-based e-mobility. This is the outline of my talk. After a short introduction, I will present our SIG intelligent power module platform. Then I will focus on the part rated for 1200 volt 450 amp. After that, I will discuss the SIGGATE driver key characteristics. Before to conclude, I will explain the modeling we provide to support the design of power converters. CISOID is leader in high temperature semiconductors for demanding markets. It offers solutions for efficient power conversion and compact motor drives. With headquarters in Belgium, the company has a design center in France and sales and technical support teams in USA and China. This SIG Intelligent Power Module or IPM platform is built on more than 10 years of innovation in silicon carbide enabling technologies. In 2011, we introduced a gate driver capable of driving SIG transistors in harsh environments. In 2013, we released a discrete SIG MOSFET package for operation up to 225 degrees C. Over the last decade, we expanded our SIG power module and gate driver technologies that we combined in 2016 into a SIG IPM for aerospace. Today, we bring these solutions to the e-mobility market. By offering an optimized integration of a three-phase power module and its gate driver, this IPM platform shortens the design cycle for SIG-based power converters. It supports blocking voltages up to 1200 volt. The on resistance ranges from 2.2 up to 4.4 milliohms, with max continuous currents up to 600 amps. The platform enables high power density thanks to low switching energies, extended operating temperature, and efficient liquid cooling, thanks to a lightweight ALSIC pin fin base plate. The roadmap includes the introduction of a 300 amps and a 550 amps 1200 volts SIG MOSFET IPMs in Q1 2021. A bit later, we should announce a 600 amps 1200 volts SIG CASCO GFET version with improved on resistance. Later in the year, we will introduce a second platform compatible with HPD packages. Now, I will give more details about the first product of the IPM platform. This power module has a typical on resistance of 3.25 milliohms, a max continuous current of 450 amps at 25 degrees C fluid temperature, and switching energies of about 8 millijoules at 600 volt 300 amps. Isolation voltage in excess of 3.6 kV RMS. It has a junction to fluid thermal resistance of 0.15 degrees C per watt while offering a reduced footprint. The IPM is thermally robust with peak junction temperature to 175 degrees C. The 0.15 degrees C per watt junction to fluid thermal resistance corresponds to a liquid flow rate of 10 liters per minute. The graph shows the RMS phase current versus the switching frequency for a case temperature of 90 degrees C. At 600 volt and 10 kHz, the module can switch currents up to 450 amps RMS. The IPM also embeds a temperature robust gate driver rated up to 125 degrees C ambient. The turn-off waveforms here at 600 volt and 400 amps show the maximum drain to source voltage during switching and can be used to estimate the total power loop inductance. Note that the drain to source voltage is measured by four point sensing through the control pins of the power module. DVDT is measured to be slightly above 15 kV per microsecond. DIDT is equal to 10 amps per nanosecond, while the voltage overshoot is 220 volt. 
The total power loop inductance is around 22 nanohenry, out of which we estimate that 11.5 is coming from the power module stray inductance and 10.5 nanohenry from the DC bus capacitor ESL. Here we plot the voltage overshoot versus the phase current, with a voltage overshoot of 250 volt at 540 amps, the IPM can support 850 volt DC bus voltage with sufficient margin. In the next slides, I will discuss the embedded gate driver key characteristics. The gate driver is optimized to drive six transistors which means IP currents for fast switching and low losses, robustness against IDVDT, and extended temperature rating for high power density. Driving sick MOSFETs is also putting specific requirements on the protection functions, as we will discuss. The gate driver current capability contains two aspects. Firstly, the average gate current, defining the maximum switching frequency, which is about 30 mA at 25 kHz with the actual gate charge, while the isolated DC-DC converter can supply up to 95 mA. Secondly, the peak gate current, setting the DVDT and the switching losses. In the actual configuration, the maximum peak current is 3.8 amps, while the gate driver can deliver up to 10 amps at 125 degrees C. So, the gate driver keeps headroom to increase the current ratings and the switching frequencies. An important feature of C gate drivers is the common mode immunity. Careful design of the power transformer and the gate driver board allow to keep the parasitic capacitance below 10 picofarad and to guarantee the safe operation up to 50 kV per microsecond, which enables fast switching and low losses. The gate driver protects the power module against misfiring thanks to the anti-overlap protection that prevents high-side and low-side transistors to be on at the same time. It filters glitches on incoming PWM signals caused by IDVDT. The gate driver is also protected against short circuits on the gate of the power transistor thanks to the combination of the UVLO and the DC-DC converter cycle by cycle current limitation. The IMC protection prevents a parasitic turn on of fast switching SIG MOSFETs by bypassing the gate resistor after turn-off. Finally, the desaturation detection checks at turn-on and after a blanking time that the VDS of the power switch is below a threshold. If it is not the case, it slowly turns off the transistor to minimize the voltage overshoot due to IDIDT. This function is particularly critical with sick MOSFETs because they only withstand a short circuit for one or two microseconds. In this section, I will explain the support we provide for the design of power converters with mechanical, electrical and thermal models. One of the key benefits of an IPM is that system designers can directly start the mechanical design of their power converter without uncertainties about the mechanical integration of the gate driver board. The high temperature rating of the gate driver also facilitates the integration, relaxing cooling constraints inside the power converter cabinet. The figure shows the 3D virtual integration using the mechanical model of the IPM together with its companion capacitor and the reference liquid cooler. A reference cooler 3D design is provided for the evaluation of the IPM as explained in the comprehensive application note. The 3D printing file enables rapid prototyping in polymer, for example in PA12 material. A ring reference is also available.
Finally, electrical and thermal modeling is supported with the LT SPICE model, taking into account the essential behavior of the gate driver. It includes the parasitic inductances and the gate resistors in order to properly model DVDT, DIDT, and voltage overshoots. The variation with temperature of six MOSFETs on resistance is also correctly modeled. Transient thermal modeling is achieved thanks to a thermal RC network included between the fluid and junction temperature nodes. Now, let me summarize my presentation. At CISOIT, we developed a highly integrated 1200 volt SIG MOSFET intelligent power module platform. The first product part of this platform supports the drive of electrical motors at 600 volt, 450 amps RMS and 10 kHz. I also would like to emphasize that the robust embedded gate driver solves the challenges of driving SIG MOSFETs and enables the direct evaluation of the three-phase module in a plug-and-play manner. In addition, we provide mechanical, electrical and thermal models that accelerates the design of SIG-based power inverters for e-mobility applications. Please note also that the references mentioned in this presentation can be downloaded from our website. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question regarding this presentation, do not hesitate to send me an email.